Right guys, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Final game of the league season today. The last episode we we drew with Como. Um we had a little stream yesterday, uh, sorry on Thursday. We were in great form. This was the last game I played off stream. At this point we we're about 7 points clear. And as you can see, the run has seen us pick up one win in one, two, uh, th bear in mind, to be fair, they're cup, uh, one of those, these two are cup games, and we got knocked out in the semi-finals to Como, but the run has been horrendous, one win in what, six, seven, um, which leaves us in this position, final game of the season, we are level on points, goal difference is saving our ass at the moment, the last game, we finished 4-4, they scored on 81 and 82 to go from 3-2 down to 4-3 up. And then we needed an 88-minute equaliser. Literally has saved our ass because Como have picked up form again. Now, what I've decided to do is because there should be a playoff system. And as we spoke in the last episode, we spoke about the rules in real life where the up to four teams can get relegated depending on points difference in serious in serious c um however looking at the structure i've never seen this tab before they relegate three teams three teams three teams now we have nine divisions one two three four five six seven eight nine so there's no way that if we get into the playoffs it's any sort of promotion now what i've done is I saved the game here and then I simulated a month to see what the outcome was. And the outcome was that we drew nil-nil and we finished in the playoffs. And then the teams that were in the playoffs, we actually, I think we got knocked out. I think we got knocked out in the semi-final anyway, didn't even get to the final. But the team that wins the final, um, I think Pro Presto won, won it in hours. None of the teams in this division, in these divisions, ended up getting promoted into this division. Um, so it means that we need to win. It's as simple. It's as simple as that. So there's my little disclaimer. I just wanted. I need. I always need to know what the fucking situation is. So at least we know today. A win is a must. <clears throat> a draw. They are playing pro presto in, in the playoffs that are going pretty well. But I imagine Como to turn them over. We've struggled, we struggled to create, we are as free-flowing. So I played this in the second half. Whatever the situation, I'm not going to even bother with slow passing and short passing and slow tempo next season. I'm just going to play the way that I know, and that's long, not long, but direct, fast, intense. So I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of that into them. Playing with an advanced forward and a poacher, I'm just getting in behind with the two young boys up front. Um... Morotti and Jukic Duk have been great for us this season. Them pushing on as much as possible. Now we are playing, we are playing, we are playing these who are in the relegation playoff regardless. So I would like to think we'd get a win, but you never bloody know. You never bloody know. Um, the youngster, you guys that were in the stream, we have what we call the golden generation come in the youth setup, and we've got a guy called Guidi Guido, very good for his age, rated five star. He's already my third best centre midfielder. Now he started in great form. He's seven oh nine. Them three goals came in his first two games, and he's just gone off the boil slightly. So I'm dropping him today. He's going to be find himself on the bench. We're going back to. The two roles that I like to have in there, deep playing, deep line playmaker on support and a box-to-box -box midfielder. I'm very nervous, but it makes the episode more exciting. It puts more on this. Now, we know that the playoffs mean absolutely jack shit, and we need to get a fucking point. Not a point. A point won't be good enough. We need to make sure we get three points. So, let me just check the squad. Right, here we go. Very very nervous looking back i wish I'd, i should have simulated a se i should have simulated a season before we started and just seen how the playoffs worked but get a win today 
it doesn't fucking matter, does it? It does not matter. We've got a few people leaving. Big John Parkins going at the end of the season. Reece Stray is going at the end of the season as well. John Parkin did score a vital goal for us against Como in the league. He's only got one for the season, but we're going with the young boys today, Cilia and Stray up front. Here we go. Squeaky bum time. It will be. I'm not normal. Not look. I'm not normally a bottle job. But I'm not feeling confident. I don't think I've given away a lead like this before. Right, we've got the latest scores as well. So we just need to match Como's result because our goal difference is there's no there's no contest with the goals with the goal difference. <clears throat> Here we go. First highlight. Where's it gonna go? Let's just score the first goal and not have a, another highlight. And here we go, Cilia. Stop at. Oh, he's at the post. Como are still drawing. Ay ay ay. And we're one nil down. No, 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 no. I have at this moment in time. I have no. Nothing to really go at or change or come or winning. So we need to win. It's as simple as that. Aye, aye, aye. Can we do it? Come on. Come on. Ball's in the box. I suppose we can go to back to two at the back at some point and just put another striker on. Maybe put Valenti on as well. I think we'll have to do that probably pretty early. Here's another highlight. We've managed to win the ball back though. Come on. We've gone long. We're going to get the second balls. Get the ball down, Salah. He's, he's nicked it. He's nicked it. Here we go. Cilia's in. Big chance. Big chance he's buried it. Get in. Calm down. Calm down. Just score. Como 2-1. 2-1. They've just retaken the lead. Okay. Okay. We're going to leave it for now. We're going to push forward if we can. Into the last side. When, when, do I, when do I make the call? We'll see where this highlight takes us. We'll see where it takes us. Can we nick Summer? Marotti. Come on. You've not got on the score sheet for a while. Salah. He's gone over the top. He's found stopper. We've scored. <laughs> right. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Let's pause. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. What a volley from stopper, by the way. Bit worried that he's on a sec he's on a yellow card. I think I'm gonna go get Baggio on. Let's get Baggio on. Two, two strikers on yellows as well. Shit the bed. Oh, God. I, I would have probably gone to my 3-4-3 that I'm doing with Man United. Or my 4-2-3-1. I might have gone back to that. But we have we had nothing at all in wide areas. Absolute nothing at all. Oh, dear. Fucking just leave it as it is. Fucking leave it as it is and just pray. Let's demand more from... Come on. Can we seal it? Marotti, get a good ball in. Jukic. Oh, wide. Wide. Pause it. How are they doing? Still 2-1. Still 2-1. Show some passion. Let's bring the sub on. Why not? Parkey. Where's Parkey? Get on, son. Caprica as well. Last minute. We've done it. We've done it, surely. Baggio. Spread it out wide. Here we go. Here we go. Corner ball. Just full time, lads, will do. There it is. Champions. Ole, ole, ole.
get in. When they went one 0 up, I didn't have a chance. We've kind of we've kind of grabbed it. Here. What a strike from Stopper, by the way, on sixty nine. The two youngsters up front have done it. Have done it. Giladino's happy as well. Gilladi Alberto Giladino. Casaragi left us with about ten games to go. Um, to be fair, start of. Was it in the stream? No, it weren't in the stream. It was when I flicked the game. It, it, it honestly feel, felt like today, like the game kind of reset. And as soon as I flicked it on, it just decided to put me in bad form. And then Casaragi left. We've got Alberto Giladino in as my assistant manager and things have been horrendous. But there we are, Championis. We've managed to do it. I hope. The one has turned professional already. Professional in Serie C. Yeah, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. We've turned professional. Jesus, that's a massive wage budget. That's huge. Right, what we'll do before we finish, guys, we're going to have a little look at our squad. What's that fixture for? Oh, no, 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 no. What's this? What's this? What the fuck is this? Oh no! Oh no! This this feels deadly. These must be the winners. Yeah, shit, shit. Oh no! I'm starting to think that we've gone up anyway. Cause three are coming down. Oh, this is bad. Pool de Scudetto. This maybe just means that right okay i think we're safe wiki says this is called scudetto to Serie d each year at the end of the regular season the winners of the nine Serie d division sorry Serie yes yeah, Serie d divisions qualify for the championship tournament in order to sign the so-called scudetto diliente amateur champions title so this is just a bonus this is just a bonus reading up on the playoffs it doesn't it doesn't actually mean anything so what it all depends on what team other teams from Serie C are either collapsing getting relegated if they might need to relegate four or five because of financial stuff the playoffs are then there if they need to select somebody I think that's what they do they go through the playoffs and take teams from the playoffs to fill the vacancies I think and as this because this is FM, I don't think it will actually do it. It'll just do it as a pointless tournament at the end of the season. That's what I'm thinking. So I think we're safe. 99% sure we're safe. Anyway, so what we're going to very quickly do is, the squad-wise, there's going to be a fair few people on the way out. Salsano, who have we got that are contracted out? Fair few, look. Going, 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 going. All the loans. I'd like to get... Burton Yoli back. Yes, I would, I think. Um, not him. Definitely Kaliba. He's probably not. He's playing two games for France under 21, so we're probably not going to be able to get him, are we? Thinking about it. Um, but we'll try. Goalkeeper, no. But we may we may get a youngster in to be back up. To be back up keeper. And the rules do change in Serie C. Uh, Jukic, yes, if we can get him back. Cilia is signing for us permanently anyway. Stopper. Potentially, he has improved, he has scored a decent amount of goals there. So yes, he could be definitely an impact striker for us. Um, the rest, I think we're going to try and sell. He will try and sell. Debella will try and get rid of. LaRusso will try and get rid of. Marotti has been fantastic for us. The left wing back, um, eight goals, 12 assists. You can't see it, but 7.55 average. Guccicone, or whatever he's called, can go. Diarsi, the goalkeeper, will stay. Um, Cardielli will probably stay just because he can play both sides that's the only reason why Sayata wants to get more game time but I'm struggling to give him it Salah will stay Rizzuto he's pretty good but I think we've, now we're going up going to professional we'll probably do better Frenzini's half decent he might stay as a as a no he's shite he's going Valenti, I think we're going to try and offload just because he's 33. He's done very well for us. Look, 17 goals in 31 games, but he's going to be peaking. 
Um, Guido, the youngster, obviously. Rico, the young left back, he will also stay. Because he's got really good potential. Four and a half star potential. Serie C rules is a little bit more relaxed. There's still a, a reliance on youngsters, but it's based on your squad. Um, if we go to stage, oh no, sorry, if we go to rules, where are we? Squad for uh, registration. Maximum, no more than 22 over 20 players and a maximum of 15 over 22 players. So we do need to make sure that we get a decent number of youngsters in. But remember, we've got people like Cilia, uh, Rico, one of the goalkeepers, uh, obviously uh, De Guidi, the centre midfielder, um, and Loneys. We'll still really, we'll try and get still got five or six really good Loneys in as well. So that should make it all okay. So, next episode will be the start of, probably the start of next season. I am aiming on streaming on Twitch on Sunday night. It'll be around 10 o'clock. Um, I'll put the links in the description below. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. If you want to watch the, watch the uh, if you want to watch me on the Sunday night. Because times may vary depending on when I get the little one to bed. So, stay tuned for that Sunday. If not... The new season will kick off. We'll go through all the new signings on Tuesday evening's episode. Right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like down below. Let's get this series boosted a little bit. I really am enjoying it. And we're going to find ourselves in Syria C next season. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.